Welcome back in another video North Korea fired two ballistic missiles eastwards early on Wednesday, the Japanese and South Korean military said, just hours after a U.S. ballistic missile submarine arrived in a South Korean port for the first time in four decades. The USS Kentucky, an Ohio-class nuclear-armed ballistic missile submarine SSBN, made port in the southeastern city of Busan. Its arrival coincided with the start of talks among the Allies to coordinate responses in the event of a nuclear war with North Korea. South Korean President Yoon Suk-yeol, aboard the submarine, said its arrival highlighted the alliance's resolve to deploy U.S. strategic assets and improve the capabilities of the American nuclear umbrella. We will make it impossible for North Korea to ever think of a nuclear provocation, and have clearly warned that if it does, it will lead to the end of its regime, Yoon said in a speech. Both of the missiles fired by North Korea appear to have fallen outside Japan's exclusive economic zone, the Japanese Defense Ministry said. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff JCS called on the North to cease such launches. We strongly condemn North Korea's successive ballistic missile launches as grave provocative acts that undermine the peace and stability of the Korean Peninsula as well as the international community, and are a clear violation of UN Security Council resolutions, the JCS said in a statement. The U.S. military said it was aware of the missile launches and was consulting closely with its allies and partners. The firing comes nearly a week after North Korea tested its latest Wasong-18 intercontinental ballistic missile, a launch Pyongyang said was a warning to the United States and other adversaries. Also on Tuesday, a U.S. soldier facing disciplinary action fled across the inter-Korean border into North Korea. The soldier is believed to be in North Korean custody. Washington said, creating a new crisis between the two foes. North Korea's latest firing of ballistic missiles is probably unrelated to an American soldier crossing the inter-Korean border, but such an incident doesn't t help matters either, said Lee Farrick Easley, a professor at UA University in Seoul. North Korea undoubtedly opposes a new U.S.-South Korea nuclear war planning group that met for the first time on Tuesday as well as the visit of the U.S. nuclear ballistic missile submarine, he said.